Rigid Force Alpha. A new agile battleship created by the United Planet Freedom Force's best engineers and scientists. The Rigid Force Alpha was developed using the groundbreaking core technology, a virtually inexhaustible source of energy. Designed for both interstellar and planetary combat operations, this prototype is today one of the UPFF's most advanced weapons. I'm Sai. As an artificial intelligence, I was designed to support you. You can trust me completely. This ship is now under your command, Captain. Welcome aboard. Would you like me to explain the basics? All right, let's begin. Move the Rigid Force Alpha to the indicated position. Excellent. You will quickly learn to appreciate this machine's flight characteristics. Now use the main armament against the targets. Very good. As you saw, this ship's main armament is very effective. Have you noticed the energy orbs? Defeated targets drop energy orbs. Collect them by moving the ship towards them. Good. As you may have noticed, these orbs fill up your energy supply. You can also use the attract function to draw them to your ship. Now use the attract function to collect more energy orbs. Fantastic. Note that the attract function slows your ship down. In return, you can quickly replenish your energy supply. Now use the collected energy to charge your weapon and deliver a powerful blast. Excellent. This way you can defeat even the toughest targets. Always keep an eye on your energy supply. You can change the main and side armaments of your ship using so-called weapon capsules. Now collect one capsule of each type. Rebound. These projectiles reflect off surfaces. Homing missile. Targets nearby enemies. The side armament can be upgraded while changing the main armament only activates a different type of weapon. Collect all of these force shards to increase the firepower of your main armament. Good! You will notice that each force shard fires additional projectiles. You can activate up to four of them. Now move the force shards all the way to the rear of the ship. Very good. This way you can even reach targets behind you. And now please move the force shards back to the front of the ship. Excellent. This way you can adjust the force shards to your liking in order to cause as much damage as possible. Let's get to the final lesson. Gather enough energy and use the bullet blade to defend your ship against enemy projectiles. That's it. This function may use a large part of your energy, but it can save you from many desperate situations. This completes your training. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Welcome, Captain. Rigid Force Alpha ready for deployment. Here are the mission parameters. A distress signal has reached the UPFF fleet. Research station Burmis is under attack. Among many other groundbreaking projects, the scientists of this facility have established the CORE program. It is the same technology used to operate the Rigid Force Alpha systems. The enormous potential of this project must under no circumstances fall into the wrong hands. The calculated route leads us through the asteroid mining colony Outpost Alpha. They're reporting heavy battles. Prepare for combat. Starting mission. We're approaching Outpost Alpha within the asteroid mining colony. Usually rare minerals are mined here for use in research and science. At the moment, however, military operations are underway. You are good to go.
Caution. Enemy signal detected. Signal source. Orbital defense satellite DS-7353. Scans indicate heavy armament. You are good to go. We are now approaching the Fermis Research Station, the largest center for research and development of new energy sources and weapon systems in this solar system. The original help signal came from inside this facility. Prepare for enemy attack. recommended. The core plasmoid has escaped. Commence the pursuit. Warning, bioengineered life form detected. Codename, Project Behemoth. Creature shows significant core DNA readings. Scans indicate presence of a secondary parasitic life form. Prepare for enemy attack.
Situation analysis. No further hostile activity inside Verma Station. The irregular behavior of the core plasmoid may be caused by an infection with an unknown virus. We should gather more data on this matter. Receiving new data. There is evidence of core activity on the surface of Thera. Three targets found. Acquiring coordinates. Target number one, Virgus, a dry and hostile desert region near the equator on Thera. The signal comes from one of the many underground caves. Target number two, Creo. This heavily guarded mining site for rare resources is located in the middle of the Theran Arctic region. Target is moving underground at high speed. Target number three, Aestis, one of the largest industrial plants in the solar system. The target is located inside the weapon production facilities. Recommended procedure, investigation of all three objectives and neutralization of the signal sources. Approaching Theranian surface. In the barren deserts of Fergus, life has persisted under the blazing hot sun. Deeply buried aquifers and a high concentration of biological mutagens have contributed to the development of a unique flora and fauna. Get ready!
Warning. Mutated life form of type Bodegore detected. Strong contamination by core plasmoid DNA detected. Initiate elimination. Get ready! Below the kilometer-thick ice layers of Creo lie a significant number of valuable resources. Our next destination is located beneath the Omega Base in this area. The target is moving at high speed. We need to hurry. All systems are go.
Warning, armored mole-type core drilling robot ahead. Confirming severe core contamination. Target is moving at high speed. You are good to go. Despite heavy volcanic activity, Aestis has become one of the largest industrial plants in the solar system. The unique environmental conditions here allow the production of all kinds of metal products. Warning! Enemy threat ahead! We have been discovered. Scanning target, a heavily armored Blade class guard ship. It appears to be guarding the Aestis facilities. An ambush. The Blade ship has entered pursuit mode. Full thrust. Watch out for obstacles.
Danger! The blade ship is attacking from above. Watch out! Emerging. Evade the enemy's attacks. It's trying to escape. Initiate immediate pursuit. Attention! We have found the Blade Guard Ship. Severe core contamination confirmed. This ship is our target. Initiate immediate neutralization. Get ready! Reporting successful neutralization of all targets. However, readings still indicate strong core activity. Determining coordinates. Captain, look at this. The core has manifested in Thera's outer orbit. Apparently, it is concentrating its forces there for the final strike. Unable to further determine surrounding structures due to high levels of radiation. No time to lose. We must act immediately. Approaching the core hive, expect massive enemy presence. No further data is available at this time. Captain, be extremely cautious. All systems are go.
We're at our destination. I'm picking up enormous radiation readings. Exact target unknown. Proceed with extreme caution. Warning! Enemy threat ahead! Initiate destruction. of our projectiles. We only have one option. We must overload it with its own energy. Captain, destroy the core! Registering meltdown. Immediate evacuation required. Evacuation sequence initiated. Maximum thrust. 